And thus we entered the caves, leaving the bulk of our forces behind so we could explore the place without risking catastrophic losses. None of us knew for certain what kind of dangers lurked beneath the land said to be the heart of Urgia. Only Anlinde, the Lich, and I planned on proceeding underground, but some of our people would not hear of us going in alone, and instead accompanied us down into the darkness. Scenario 7, Goliath According to our historians, multiple kingdoms of dwarves occupied the Hart Mountains during the Golden Age, prosperous and powerful. Malkeshar says all that came to an end when the humans of Wesmoth single-handedly brought about the fall. We had not ventured too deep underground when we began to find signs of a recent civilization. Albeit in ruins, the entire place was adorned with fine dwarvish architecture and handcraft. Could the dwarves have attempted to reclaim their domains after so long? What kind of disaster might have struck their efforts? Malkeshar and Anlinde seemed uneasy about the whole situation. I feel some kind of strong presence in this place. We should determine its nature before we allow our people to follow. Wait, I hear steps. Surprise, forest dwellers! Didn't expect us here, huh? Kill them! It's the Emperor's command! Damn it, it's just as I feared. These vile creatures are intent on getting to them before us. Okay, so our objective here is to investigate the cave. As usual, the only people who I have, uh, who I need to keep alive are Galas and Linde and Malka Shah. Got 45 turns for this. Um, no early finish bonus, so no point rushing in this scenario. Um, and we can only recruit or recall troops during the first turn until all your recruitment space is So that's a max of six people to recall. No income and no gold from villages. Um, so I don't need to worry about income at all. This is interesting. Okay. So this will be a small scenario where I have no hold hard as far as recalling some of my most expensive and best troops. Okay, first things first, um, it's a shame that this this area is all lit up, um, so we've got a level 1 demoness and then a couple of grunts, um, they will get shredded if they go up against Malkashar, so that's fine, I will just do that, um, Malkashar can run out here and zap this grunt, and there's more enemies coming up behind. Alright, not quite dead, but um, it's not hugely useful either. Um, Anlinde, you come and defeat this demoness, I hope. 3 out of 5. Hits. Wow, okay. Did you not eat your breakfast cereal this morning? Uh, well, um, then Galas can't get in there into the action. Now, who will I need? Um, I should restrict the number of elves that I recall down here because elves are generally just quite bad underground. Um, but a skirmisher with the slow ability is handy. So Detea the Prowler is on the team, as is Lich Milongil. Um, Sothinia the Shide is pretty much a certainty. And the Spectre, I think, simply because it's useful to have people in these scenarios who can move relatively freely, uh, and especially people who can float around the place. So, you're in. Um, <laughs> I love the idea that there are all these loyal undead who just can't wait to follow me down the passage. Um, okay, I've got two more spaces. Um, so among the level 3 units, I, the marshal's not hugely useful, and I think the sharpshooter, the sharpshooter's just a bit too squishy. Um, 
it's I think I think it's going to be more useful to hire someone less squishy um, who has the potential to level up. Um, again, you know, it's it's tempting to have a death baron, but the death baron. The trouble with the death baron is that um, it's quite vulnerable to fire, and there are a lot of demons down here. It also, its leadership ability is not hugely useful in this situation. So instead of that, um, I am going to go for the sorceress, um, and I want her to level up quite quickly, and then she should be. Well, she's not fast, but she should be a fairly powerful unit to have on the back burner. And then finally, I think I'm just going to take another wraith. Um, I'm going to have this wraith. And anyone else? I thought I had a revenant. Oh, obviously I don't. Oh, that, that's right. I was going to level up this um, death baron as a revenant, revenant but I didn't. Um, irreverent, irreverent revenant. Um, I am going to have this uh, this wraith, and hopefully it can get its level during the scenario. All right, let's see what comes. Okay, that's altogether too much damage. Um, not damage I would like to be taking from these people right now. So let us try and remedy the situation. Can anyone get in? Oh, you can get in. You can run in here, kill this demon grunt if you can. Oh, I hate demons so much. Good. That's a nice bit of experience for you. Now, you come down here. Again, not the damage I was hoping for. Whoever goes around here will get attacked by this automaton, um, who can try and morning star me, but that's okay because I've got a healer in, in place. One hit, one hit. There we go. All right. Now this automaton should be triggered. These two can just stay exactly where they are, and then they can gain health. And to remember, there is no rush. 45 turn limit. The map is not enormous, so I think that should be enough. Lich is quite fast underground. Um, I'll bring him round. He can hide on the mushrooms. She, sorry, it's a she. Can't uh, misgender my Lich. Gallus similarly, and the Spectre on the other flank. Okay, 8 damage, and that will instantly be healed. Already healed up by Sophinia. Um, uh, arcane damage is um, clearly not super effective against these people. It'd be nice though if I could get the kill with someone with arcane dam with with one of these two. That was rubbish. Okay. Um, how about you? You go in. <laughs> Okay, now the uh, sorceress should be able to finish the job. <laughs> Little explosion sound. And now I've got an enchantress. Um, oh! I thought enchantresses had another level, level, level up after this. I thought they could get to level 4. Um, evidently not. Oh well. She's still going to be handy to have around with a slow attack and an arcane fairy fire attack. Alright, progress down the corridor everyone. Who's going to go first? Someone needs to take the damage from this automaton. Can anyone reach the automaton? Yeah, the spectre can. Before I run in, 
We'll just see if there's anyone else up ahead, and there isn't. Good. No draining, not from automata, unfortunately. Slowly, people who don't need healing can move fast. Um, now you can reach whoever's on the path in front of, above the ray, so... Probably shouldn't put anyone there, just doesn't make any sense. Um, okay, everyone just um, line up here behind. Some nice music in this scenario. I haven't heard all of this uh, music before. Okay, and use a wraith to get the kill. Gonna need to heal up this spectre. That's a dangerous amount of health for a spectre to be on. Other than that, though, I can push forward with Malkashar. And actually, you stay exactly where you are, and then you'll gain the full 10 health. Galas, you run forward. Can you see anyone else? There's another automaton there. You could lure the auto automaton out of its house. Let's do that. There we go. And then the automaton can only reach that far, so everyone else can move up. The only issue with having this Enchantress is she's that bit slower than everyone else on my team, um, so she's not going to be quite as useful. But she is powerful, so there's that. You know, like scary resistances on these dudes. Yeah, 50% resistance to both Arcane and Blade, 30% resistance to Cold, 40 to Pierce, Fire 20, Impact 10. Okay, so Fire and Impact are my best bets, if I have them. Um, don't think anyone on my team does Fire damage or Impact damage, actually. Oh yeah, okay, Entangle is Impact damage. Um, no Fire, but the Prowler does Impact with the Bolas. And indeed... You elves! If you still place any value on your lives, you should stop and leave now. Well, looks like I don't place much value on my lives. Plural. Okay. They can reach the Prowler. One of them can, it looks like. So what have we got here? Um, there's clearly at least two players coming in in the background. Um, we've got Automata, they're level 1, we've got some Chaos Invoker. Need to be able to just rush this Lore Keeper, I think. Um, but again, there's actually no rush. Just rather, he doesn't summon too many more units. And the only person, one of these people will be able to reach my Prowler which means it's a good idea to have someone who can heal in the foreground. That spot down there is safe, so the Lich can go and hang out in the Mushrooms again. Um, yeah, why not? If you want to go and attack Malkishar, be my guest. And then you can go where you can get healed. 
and you can just move as fast as you can. <coughs> Alright, are you going to summon more troops? Yes, but only one. Okay, so now the trick here is to kill everything and end up with the troops on the front line who are going to be the toughest. Um, so, you're a skirmisher. You just step round here and. Hmm. You're not the toughest. But you can go here. Um, I think I should probably, what, what I should probably do here is just ease forward one square at a time. Um, uh, but it, it might mean that I do take some losses though if I, if I play it like that. Um, the Lich is quite vulnerable standing there. There are lots of these skirmishes. Yeah, so I definitely don't want to leave any gaps in my lines. Okay, yeah. Watch me fry your level 1 units. And Linda, you're not, you're not performing today. You're really not, um, not on your A game, are you? Okay, who's going to go here? Because here, now that there's an invoker around, I don't really want to put my wraiths on the front line. Uh, you can't reach. Gallus can't reach. Um, I think it just makes the most sense to put this lich here. Um, and I don't think the lich should be killable in a single turn. But then who's going to get this kill here? Can you do it in one? Um, not likely. How about you? Are you? Or you? It looks like Gallus is the one who's got the best shot at it. I was going to put Gallus on the front lines afterwards, and I still that's still my preference. Just a shame that you can't have a little bit more on the attack because I really do want to take out this automaton, but I don't want it to still be standing there. Um, I we could just take it out with the Lich, that seems like, or try, um, that seems like the best bet. Alright, good. Um, now Galas, you come up here and you'll have to tank damage. You move up, you move up, you move up. Um, I want to get this Invoker in, I want this Invoker to be on the front lines taking damage here. It could be now that the Law Keeper comes out and tries to attack Malka Shah, but I think that's probably on a hiding to nothing if so. Okay. Some big damage there, especially on Galas don't like that, um, but the invoker is out of the way. Um, what's the play here? I think the play is to get Gallus back, at least for now. First of all, you try and take out this invader. <laughs> then I'm going to put Mal Keshar in the most threatening of the situations. Try and take out this invader. Good. Now the spectre, I think. Um, the spectre needs three hits to take out this invoker. And even if it fails, well... It does open itself up then to attack by the law keeper. Oh no, yes it does, just about. Unless I then press forward with more units, which I could do. Galas can't get in there. Um... I could have Anne Linde do this. Um, I'd rather she didn't take that much damage. 
Um, but that I think might actually be. She's got enough health. Oh, that's probably the best bet. The Spectre is just a little bit too fragile for that. So you go up here, and you'll take some damage, but hopefully you'll get the job done. Yeah, there we go. Now, you move in, you come up to get some health, and we proceed. Oh no! They were going for the attempted suicide on the Lich strategy, but uh, unfortunately the Lich was not, in this instance, quite competent enough to make it work. Alright. You. One down. Um, next. Lich. You stay where you are, but I'm going to use you to get the kill. You're going to be a bit stronger if you can get some maximum level advancements. Um, and now I can actually move in. The Malkashar can reach. <sighs> I mean, <laughs> it's tempting. Four hits and four out of five hits, and it does it. But then again, um, this person can deal, what is it, 34, 78, 78 damage to Malkashar in a single turn. Um, so, yeah, that's not great. I think, though, that is still the best strategy, just to try and to try and come in here and uh, and just, insofar as is possible, just brutalize this guy with my toughest troops. So Malka Shah and Anlinde can both come in on the north side. Anlinde, I believe, has good resistance against against Arcane. Yeah, she does. All right. So you should probably take the brunt. You go around here. Okay. Doesn't quite get the kill, but uh, in a good position. And now, either Malkesha or Galas. I mean, Galas needs one hit out of five to do this. And he'll be standing next to. He'll be standing next to Anlinde after that, if he gets it. But it's just, I think it's actually not quite as likely, it's, it's not as likely as Malkashar getting in here. Um, so I'm going to use Kashar. Okay, first leader is down. Now I have to worry about Anlinde getting killed. So I have to get some units in the way to stop that from happening. And the only person who's good for that is the Spectre. So you just come in here and wail, and that will block people. There's a bat, uh, not worried about that. Do you have to be- oh! Oh no! Okay, um, there is a Zephyr over here. Alright, that's large amounts of fire damage, but she seems to be very slow. Um, so, not an immediate threat. Alright, yeah, come in, stick with the original plan. I love the fact that these guys make a kind of R2-D2 noise. <laughs> um, okay, you run up behind Anlinde and get some health in. Um, Anlinde is going to get got by the bat, that's fine. Um, you come over here, and then you come behind, and you can heal any damage that's done. Um, once I've got rid of these few units, I'm going to need to to get some more serious healing in, um, and then you just move up. All right. Love 
of spectres. Love them. Even demons can't hold a candle to them. Okay, so. Um. The lich is gonna be okay against this demon because the demons are. They've got ranged chill damage, it's not magical. And then someone else has to come in to help finish the job down here. Um, I think you are the best bet. Slow this one. And the other one just needs to be just needs to be smashed, basically. Just smashed with extreme extreme prejudice. Can anyone quite reach this this Zephyr? I don't like the Zephyr. I'm gonna put Gallus here and have him do some damage. Not much damage, but it's a start. And then I think this Enchantress. Alright, it's not dead, but that means hopefully that this Wraith can finish it. Ah, another, another Zephyr. So many Zephyrs. Alright, in light of the two Zephyrs hiding in turrets up ahead of me, I'm going to need to consider carefully how I plan to approach this. I think, probably, I'm just going to stay with the rest of my troops and allow them to come to me. Um, the Zephyrs can't reach in. What I can do is use get Malkashar down here and use him to take out this automaton, or try to. Kaboom! Alright. Um, you're not quite fast enough to get where I want you to be, but you can... So Anlande, if you... Hmm. Yeah, the most important thing is for you to get health, so then that means I need you to be here. Spectre, stay where you are, so you don't get fireballed. And then we go on. <laughs> because it didn't look on my map as if Malkashar was actually in range of these guys, but clearly he was. But he managed to take down that bat without much problem. He's just um, on a little bit lower health than normal. Not even half health. See, we're fine. Okay, proceed slowly and heal, people. Heal. Can you run out here? Do you see anyone? No, you don't. All right, get a slow in if you can. You can't. Okay. Um, Melka Shah. Go into the water and do some zapping. That is a dead end. And now I'll have um, Linda over here. Sothinia behind her to heal. Milongil over here. Galas here. And I think that means everyone who needs health can get health. Sorceress comes up behind. The Spectre is going to try and do a little tiny bit of scouting. Okay, we've got passages ahead. They are passagey. Bit more. Bit more. Okay, there's, a, there's an automaton down there. Not too frightened by that. Good, and then you, I think, stay where you are now. Maybe go, you can go one more. There we go. And now we can see another automaton coming up the road. What's the status table like? That's just got me on it. Um, statistics. Yeah, can't see any other players. Hidden, hidden. All right. Okay, everyone gets a good amount of health. Galas is back on full. Melkeshar and Lindsay and this Lich are still in need of a little bit more. Um, 
I want to bring someone down so that these automata can get drawn out. Maybe Gallus is the best for that. If you go... Can you go? No, you can't. That's a shame. Um... Then the Spectre. What's that? Oh, it's a Blood Imp. Okay. Blood Imps, I, I always thought these units were a bit overrated. Um, they're level 2 units. 46 health, 7x3 claw attack. This particular one is both dim and slow. And we've got more Automata guarding the way. This is where the slowness of my Enchantress really becomes an issue. Can you see anything if you go there? Nothing useful. Oh well. Uh, so Galas, I think, the, these elves can, can just try and go around the other way, um, so I don't get too badly blocked in. <coughs> Alright, my spectre's healed up to full, and Linde is almost on full as well. Um, the healing's going well. So, who can come in here and try and get the kill? And Linde, you do it. Hold it. Nope. Okay. Uh, this Wraith. Alright, nearly got two spectres now. Oh, I know why I call these guys Bane Blades. Um, it's because they've got Bane Blades. Now, the actual Bane Blade is a tank in 40k, so that's something quite different. And once again, I can use the spectre to lure out one of these units. Hopefully, maybe only one, maybe two. As long as there aren't any scary flying fire units, then I'm good. Lich and the mushrooms again. What's your quickest way? Oh, you can go down there. All right. So then it's on this side. It's just uh, just Galas and Galas and uh, and the prowler. And you both can hide in the mushrooms. <laughs> love it, love it. Okay, and Linda's on full health, and the only people now who are injured are the Lich Slightly and Malkesha. So I can come in and finish these two off, I hope. Ethereal Storm Time. And now we've got an after maximum level advancement. I'll go for plus one Gossamer Strikes, just in case that becomes useful. I might actually use that attack more if it's more powerful. And so now, she can only get normal after maximum level advancements, which will increase her health by three points. These two are both too slow to do anything useful next turn, so that means I can invite this Lich to get the killing blow. Boom. Alright. Now... now what? Now I'll let Galas take the attack of this nearest automaton. You can actually come down, explore a bit. Here, yeah, there is another automaton, and maybe, maybe, yeah, it's worth it just coming out. I think. Uh, 
Ah, here there is some sort of orb. Now. You advance. I think I do want to keep going forward, so you go forward. You come here between these two. And you come down here. And hopefully you'll get the kill, and then you can level up. This scenario is uh, financially neutral, which is very nice. I guess everyone is temporarily loyal for the duration. <coughs> Of course, you don't heal when these automata get hit because they are machines, you cannot drain their life force. And Linda kind of embarrasses herself a bit. Okay, two spectres on the team. This one is really slow. I think Malka Shah, if you come down here and kill this one. You can now get attacked. But that won't happen if Galas gets there first. this orb. Can my spectre actually in principle? No, the spectre cannot cross the chasm. That's a shame. Okay, anyone else who needs health? Should get it from the shide. Mal, you step forward. And Galas too. You can actually reach the orb. I think I'd rather get my troops in place before pressing that button, knowing what the uh, scenario designers like to do to you in this kind of scenario. God, I'm lucky actually that I did play this, I have played this at least three times before, but uh, it was years ago and I can't remember the details, so I can still be surprised like a small child. Alright, Malkeshar, you can be the one to press the button. No. Oh, okay, I've got to go back up there. Touch jam activated, a wall moves. We'll see what happens up here. Alright, we've got another automaton down here. We've got a demoness. The demoness can reach my lich, that's fine. As we've seen, lich and demoness. That's an okay combination. Mal is going to be in the back now. So you try and go, you go there and see if you can see anything. Okay, from there you'll be attacked by this demon. Oh, and they have fireball. The level one ones have fireball, I've forgotten about that. All right, you don't want to get hit by that. So you can stay there. Uh, 
for you also. You know, if you want to come in and attack someone with 60% defense in mountains, that's fine. Could have been better, could have been worse, so that's fine. Um, so man, you're slow, you can't even get there. But you're a skirmisher, so you can go around. And you should, and now you can get in. And you're a little bit wounded, but not badly wounded. Okay, you scout. Scout up here. Uh, another automaton. That's okay. You scout down here. And then if you go there, you can just sit there and heal up the Prowler when the Prowler gets attacked. You can't quite get in to do the same up here. You can attack either Spectre, I am not picky about that. Um, you just need a little bit of health back, so actually if you go... No, you don't want to stand in the middle. Um, go up there. And Malka Shah, run, run with your little stumpy bony legs. <coughs> We've got two pathways leading off. So now, actually, it's recommending that I use the Gossamer attack, which could kill this automaton. So in this it's instance, it is actually more powerful, and it slows. Well, then maybe I should never criticise the Gossamer attack again. If you can finish it, then you will be healed up to full health next turn. Galas, you go and touch the touch plates. The wall moves. Oh, there's a an opening right ahead. Can I see what's in it? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not the kind of touch pad I really wanted to, to open. Um, there are two iron golems here. And they've got flash cannons and they've got fists. So we need to get Malkeshar up here, stat. And there is a, some sort of potion here in the background. Now, the person I really want to keep out of the way here, I think, is the Lich, because the Lich is vulnerable to impact damage. If you look at the resistances, impact, uh, it's not terrible, impact minus 10%. Still, um, what about these, what about the Spectres, um, they are 50% resistant to impact, so they're a good deal tougher. So what I'll, what I'll do then is move you down here, try and use you to clear out your automaton. And now, what will happen if I attack you? Okay. So you could, in principle, do a maximum of 12 damage, and you can do a maximum of 12 damage as well, because you're both the same. So actually this spectre is a safe bet if I want to just plonk it in the middle here, and it can guard, um, and the golems will attack it, and there will be no consequences for that. Gallas, you come back out. All right, bring it on. <laughs> Oh, these golems growl like dogs, it's quite disturbing. Alright, Malkeshar. You're gonna get flash cannons, but never mind. Again, lovely, lovely sound effect of the flash cannon. 
on Lindsay. And now, who needs the experience? Um, the Lich. The Lich could use the experience. Like I said, I want to get this Lich more hit points. It's going to be one of my slightly less chunky level 3 units. And they're so useful for clearing out gaps. Alright, so what's this potion thing? This small flask contains some potion of strength said to be able to turn mere weaklings into formidable fighters. Let us choose who shall drink it. I really think that given I'm going to always have Galas, it ought to be Galas who has this potion. Okay, two damage points to melee attacks, eight points to total hit points. Alright, Galas, you are now an absolute beast. Well done. And I get to open another door. Um, who needs healing? You still need healing. Um, so you go and open the door. Okay, another wall has moved. And a room has opened up to the south. Now... I kind of want to scout round to the north, see what's there. Okay, you do that. Doesn't look like there's anything immediately there. You can scout down here. You can't see very much, though. Um, just go a couple of squares and then come back. Okay, there's a Doom Guard there. They're quite nasty. Can anyone reach me? No. Um, but I do want to heal up. And Lindsay, to full health, and I want my sorceress to be on full health as well, and you can just move back. Alright, now we'll go and scout down here. Okay, there's an automaton. Two automata. One of which can reach me up there. Go that way with some of my units. Probably not both healers. That's not that's not wise. Quite a lot of units up here, actually. And given that this is given that this doesn't seem to go anywhere, it seems to be an odd choice. Um, but let's see. Galas, you come down here, um, and that's a good position for you to fight that automaton in, because it's a, it's a chokehold. Can you see anything more? No, not really. Can you see anything more now? Still not really. Go back. And I'm going to send my Lich up the top way. And no, I'm going to send you definitely up the top way because you're up there already. Um, this is a relatively equitable distribution. Uh, these three are tougher though, so I'm going to send you around here. There's a Doom Guard here. Doom Guards are quite annoying. Um, I'm going to try and lure him out with Gallus, I think. Or maybe I should do it with Malkashar. No, I don't want Malkashar to get slowed. And there's more in the way of Doom Guards here. There's more in the way of Automata down here. more automata here. I don't want to progress too fast. Again, maybe I'm being a little bit overly cautious in this scenario, but I feel like discretion is the better part of valor. So, Malka Shah, you come here. You go there. Then you just come down here. 
Slow. Get the kill with the lich. And you're nearly at a level. So many automata. Only one of which can currently reach me. That's fine. Okay, well that hurt. <laughs> that hurt Galvis quite a lot, but um, at least the Doom Guard is out of the way. Now Linda can finish the job. Can we bait some more automata out of their holes? I think we can. Down here there is a distinct pathway. Once again, just proceed very slowly up here. Oh, maybe I should just, maybe I should, maybe I should speed it up a bit. Uh, but you can reach, you can reach as well. That's the thing. You can reach up to the north. So I could have two automata attacking my prowler. Lich, get the kill again, please. Actually, you dodge backwards. You get the kill from up here, maybe. And then Sothenia can stand here. You squeeze forwards, and you can go there. All right. One wonders, in fact, quite why. Quite why these units do in fact think that it's a good idea to come out and attack a unit that will immediately be healed full health, even if they do maximum damage. But uh, such is the AI of Wesnoth, and uh, ours is not to question. Okay, most likely to get a kill is the Lich, as usual, so I'm gonna do that. But it's not your lucky day, so. Boom! All right. Can you kill the other one? Um, maybe, and even if not, you can slow it. Um, and then I don't think I think I can mop up what what else is here. What was that? Oh dear. Okay. Well, I know she's going to get attacked three times, and she won't get healed this turn. But that's okay. I can deal. Ah, uh, I'm Lindsay. Sorceress, my enchantress is on quite poor health, unfortunately. <clears throat> How to finish this? three hit points, that's going to be handy. Alright, can we see anything else up here? 
It looks, I think I can already see that this is just an empty room. Uh, mm, there is, no, there is, in, in the distance there's something there. So I'll explore with this guy. But no, it is in fact just an empty room with a load of monsters in it. Fantastic. So you come back and get healed. You dash straight down here. And there are more enemies down this way. That's a regular demon. So I'm going to move someone to here. Someone like Malka Shah. <gasps> Ooh, okay. There's a. Um, there's a the, the resistance is heavier than I thought it was down this way. So I won't come as fast as I, as I was going to. I'm going to just reach this spot and have Anne Linde. Actually, Anne Linde, yeah, you, you just come in behind. Um, same with Galas. And then we'll regroup and push forward. Pointless! <laughs> okay, everyone's going to get a clean bill of health. Not quite a finisher. Ah, but these these cavern. This is somewhere where the uh, where the spectre can go. If if I do that, no, I'm not even in reach. Ah, and this is only this is only a demon and only a regular automaton. So um, yeah, no sweat, no sweat off my nose, as some people say, mixing their idioms. Only the spectres who can quite push far enough to fight this automaton, so fight it they will. And everyone else can just power forward. Spectre there. Now, I ought to be trying to get this Brawler to level up. I think that's my next priority. So you run forward. Oh, still don't want you to deal to suffer too much damage. Good, good, good. Who's my weakest unit here? I mean, technically the Spectres are by far the weakest unit, but they've got such good resistance to most attacks that it doesn't even matter. Um, okay, you come forward to there. And there's a normal automaton. Lure you out with Malkashar. And stick Anlende behind. The 
There's another automaton over there. Could lure that one out. Do I want to? Um, do a little more scouting. Nah, leave it at that. Again, very R2-D2, these guys. It's, uh, it's very sweet. And move in. Gradually. There's a bat. Ugh. I hate bats. But spectres counter them very effectively. pretty rubbish and then they really need to get back on the Weetabix. Um, just gonna bring you around here I think. Not another automaton. Many more automata. Kaboom! Alright. These automata are all pretty slow. Sure, that's a nice defensive position if you. Uh, there are more automata. I'm going to advance you over here. Spread people out just a little bit here. I am going to go down here and uh, block off this bat. And undead, have you come to challenge me? Uh, those fists seem very strong. What is this thing, Anlinde? Some kind of dwarvish warrior. At least, judging by the runes engraved on its armor. Stay back. The master says you must all die. For the Chaos Empire. Ah, just what we need. A massive metal foe. It will surely crush us if we don't act fast. And now our objective is to destroy the Goliath. And again, any of our main troops die, we lose the game. And this is where we are going to take our break. So, come back for the boss fight in part two. <laughs>